Hey guys, I'm Jake Trent back here again with another video. Today's gonna to be a little bit different than what I normally do. Um, we're gonna do a review on this Best Glide ASE um, Ultimate Adventurer Survival Kit. I see a lot of people buying pre-made kits and I can see where something like this would be more practical to carry on something like a day hike because it is smaller. But I've always had the curiosity of how good are these items inside of this kit. So I figured I'd pick one up. This kit cost $111 on Amazon. That was before shipping because um, I did not get free shipping on it. So it was right around, I think, $115, uh, $120, something like that. So we're going to bust this bad boy open, and I'm going to let you guys determine whether or not it's worth $111. And I will give you guys my opinion on it. This is going to be part one of a two-part series with this kit. The second part to this little mini video series is going to be me testing out the items that are inside of this kit to, to see if they will actually perform like it says they're supposed to um, on the back of this survival kit. Stay with me. We're going to go through each item of this kit. So what you're looking at is the Ultimate Adventure Survival Kit from Best Glide ASE. Now again, like I said, I'm not a huge fan of pre-made kits but in all reality people are more likely to buy a pre-made kit than to make one themselves if they've never even done anything in the woods all that good stuff so i figured we'd pick one up and just kind of see what exactly is inside of this kit this kit was about 111 dollars on amazon it's pretty expensive you can put together something a lot better with a lot less junk in it i'm sure for you know about that same amount of money but again, like I said, more people are more likely to buy a prefab or pre-made type survival kit rather than something that they have to make on their own if they've never even been in the woods before. So we'll go ahead and bust her open. We're gonna see what all's in it and then what I would do to change it. And we're gonna see if it's worth the money that I paid for it. So it comes in a tin. This does not feel like a stainless steel tin. It feels like a, a, an aluminum tin. Um, you could boil water in it, but the problem with aluminum is that you have to have it filled all the way to the top um, with a liquid if you're going to put it in the fire, because if you don't, it will um, warp on you. So, comes with a set of instructions. I just say throw these in the garbage. So, we got a lot of stuff in here. This thing is jam-packed, um, so we're just going to kind of start from the top and go down. We've got some... Tender quick fire starters. Looks like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It looks like there's 10 of them in here. These things, in my opinion, are garbage. Um, I'm not a huge fan of these at all. I'd rather have something like cotton balls and Vaseline if I was gonna have you know, a cheaper tender. But they will work in an emergency situation. Um, the reason I don't like them is because they don't put off a huge flame. And if they get wet, they're pretty much done for the most part. So you have those, 10 of those. You have some Yuko Stormproof matches. Looks like you probably have about 10 of those in there as well. These are pretty decent. The problem I you know, have with matches is they're a one and done. You know, you can't renew them. So once you use 10 matches, your 10 matches are finished. Um, I'd rather have a lighter, but this is not a bad thing. Uh, I know a lot of people that do carry these and I've carried them for myself. I've had no problems with them. Next up is some sort of El Cheapo compass. I'll go ahead and open it up here real quick. So yeah, it does work. Um, it's got a small movable bezel ring in here. Um, I guess if you absolutely had to, you couldn't have with this, but I don't like no name compasses because most of them are garbage. If you're gonna put a compass in a kit, make sure it is a good name like a Silva or a Sunto. But this would suffice, I guess. Next up, you have some sort of little cheap light. Even when it's on, it's still not. I just set it here. It's kind of blinking some. So, yeah, see, it just went off and didn't press the button. But the saying, these are, in my opinion, these little lights like this are garbage. See, it just went off again. Um, so this is something you probably have to hold in for it to work. And even then, uh, my opinion, this thing's worth probably 25 cents. And uh, yeah, definitely not a good item in my opinion. Next up, you have a sewing kit with some thread, a couple buttons, some needles, 
and then some safety pins, all that good stuff. Um, not a bad thing to have, but you could throw an Exotac rip spool in here and it would be just as good, if not better. A couple zip ties, those are never really a bad thing to have for the most part. Um, just mainly for just gear repair or whatever, if you're building something, making something. Next you have, looks like a beeswax candle. You smell it? Yep, a beeswax candle. Um, this is not gonna give off a whole lot of light in your camp at all. And this looks like it's more used for fire starting than anything else. But this is a pretty decent item to have because you can use the beeswax to waterproof certain equipment. If you need to waterproof your boots or something, you can. It gives you a little bit of light, um, but I would mainly use this for fire starting than anything else. It's not a bad item. I don't think anything in here is worth $111 yet at all. Next up, we have one of these El Cheapo wire saws. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the wire saws, mainly because most of them are junk, unless it's like the military, uh, or the ones that come out of the military survival kits. So those are actually pretty good. But there's a certain way to use these. You don't, just don't want to pull on the rings and use them. Um, you guys will see it in the next video but you actually make a bow saw with this and use this as a bow saw. And these will cut through metal. Not a bad item, but if you had something like, you know, a real Swiss Army knife in there, it has a saw on it. So this right here is kind of an unnecessary item if you did have a Swiss Army knife. You got a little bit of snare wire. Um, this looks about to be 10 feet or something like that. What I would do with this is go ahead and cut this up into like two foot pieces. Um, that's how about how long you need it for like a rabbit snare is about two foot um, and then roll them all up and put them in here I wouldn't leave it whole like this because that's really about the only thing I would use this for is trapping and even then in the summertime it's hard to trap animals using just this next up you got a little fishing kit here it got has some hooks some sinkers um, a couple little baits and then of course some line um, I end up buying their basic fishing kit and it actually works pretty well. Uh, fishing equipment is something you can get for super cheap um, and it doesn't really matter what you have. Most of the time you can catch a bluegill off of a piece of paracord and a hook. So this right here, in my opinion, is a really good item. But again, it's not worth $111 yet. Um, looks like you got some water purification tabs. See, there's two. No, this is powder actually, water purification powder. And you have six of those little bags in there. Disinfect six liters of water. Um, so yeah, not a bad item. You can put this in a water bottle or something like that too. These are always kind of good to have anyways. Um, if you're carrying, even if you have just a, you know, a stainless steel water bottle, these are something nice to have with you. Next up, it's like you have a little bit, little Esbit brick. These are pretty good for fire starting. They're not bad, um, but you only get one of them, so. Next, you have a cheap ferro rod with a striker. So this is, I don't like these strikers. You gotta get this coating off of here first, but it actually is not too bad, so. Definitely an item that, in my opinion, should be in every single kit. Um, I would probably go ahead and rip this handle off of this and then just add some duct tape to it. A little bit of duct tape. Um, I don't mind, you know, a small amount of duct tape in something like this, like a kit. Um, again, an Exotac rip spool already has the duct tape on it, but something I wish they would have done was put black duct tape in here and not silver duct tape. And I'll show you guys a reason for that in just a second. You have some MRE matches. It's real humid outside. These things won't light. So in my opinion, these are garbage. This is just a throw in item. These pr things probably don't even cost 10 cents. In most places will give them to you for free. Next. Wow. Wow. You have a very, very cheap multi-tool wow that is actually um that's a huge piece of crap and then you have a little tiny saw blade on it 
So this right here really is a piece of junk. Um, I wouldn't have even put, I would rather have nothing than that this. Um, Cause I know for a fact this thing will break. Even if I see here that snap right there when I just squeeze it in. So something just broke in that thing. You can hear that. So yeah, this thing is junk. Um, I don't understand in these kits why they can't put something like a, an actual Leatherman in here, or you can see now it's now it's loose, or a uh, you know a Swiss Army knife like this right here would be perfect for a kit like this. And I know for a fact this thing ain't gonna break. So and this has a full saw blade on it with a full locking knife blade on it. This, in my opinion, is the biggest piece of crap ever. It's something you buy at the gas station for two bucks. Next, you get a Acme whistle. Not a huge fan of whistles, but that's not a bad item to have with you. Then you have a Frontier emergency water filter with the straw. So basically, you put this straw down into this filter. It's like that. And then you put this in in the water. And you just suck the water through the straw. So that is a decent item to have in there for sure. Next up, you have a small first aid kit, looks like. You have some aspirins in here, some ibuprofens. You got some triple antibiotic ointment, some band-aids. I'll lay all this stuff out for you guys to see in the clip here. Um, and then you have some um, acetaminophen. So I do carry ibuprofen and um, I actually carry some Excedrin with me, migraine, because I get migraines. Um, and so I typically will carry some type of, of pills like that with me all the time, um, whether it's in my bag or it's in my car. And then you also have some moleskin right here in the back and some gauze. Um, but yeah, let's say probably the best thing in here is, is gonna be the um, medicines, just because if you're in the woods or you're lost or something like that and you start to get a headache it just makes everything a hundred times worse i don't mess around with band-aids at all um i can use a bandana and duct tape just do like an electrician's um band-aids what they call it and then the moleskin's always kind of been junk for the most part um there's ways you can get around that you can actually buy uh, a better quality moleskin than what's in here so yeah little first aid kit Next, you have a right in the rain notebook. That's probably one of the best items I've seen in this kit so far. They give you a pencil. Then you also have a, almost like a sample card for the most part. Um, it's basically an info card, a medical info card. So you have a small medical info card in there. Put that in the first aid kit. You get a small patch of material. This is some type of nylon material um i don't like putting this type of stuff inside of kits because duct tape will do the job um we had a guy run through a class one time and he blew out both knees in his pants and he fixed it entirely with duct tape and he wore it the rest of the class and it did just fine and then when he got home he just you know fixed the pants where the duct tape was and sewed some huge canvas patches over top of it but duct tape will get you by you don't really need something like this because this takes time to sew on so I would probably X this, and this is probably 10 cents worth of material. Next, you have a coffee filter. I hate it whenever people say they carry coffee filters for it because they suck. I would recommend carrying like a cravat or something like that, or a small bandana you could fit in here, or material, something else to filter water besides a freaking coffee filter. Next up, you have a Fresnel lens. These are pretty decent. Um, I carry one of these in my wallet. These are nice just in case you need to read something and or start a fire. Looks like, this feels pretty heavy, whatever this is. Looks like a signal mirror probably. So you get a real signal mirror. It's like a real glass signal mirror. Um, which is actually, this is probably one of the nicer signal mirrors I've actually seen. So that's a pretty good item, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I would probably keep that item in here for sure. You just wrap it up inside of this cloth here. And just put it back in the bag. So 
So at least they give you something that's real in here, a real signal mirror and a real right in the rain notebook. You get a little bit of tinfoil. These are nice just to fry fish up in. Um, you can also make containers out of tinfoil to boil water in, all that good stuff. Um, you can use it for fire starting. And you can also, if you absolutely had to, use it for like a signal, small signal panel. So yeah, tinfoil is not a bad thing, but I mean, you're really gonna spend $111 for the stuff you've seen so far in some tinfoil? Probably not. This looks like the bag to the water filter and the instructions on the back. Next up, I absolutely hate these. This is one of these pieces of crap, derma safe knives. So as far as tool selection goes for this kit, these are your options. That is garbage in my opinion. Um, I mean, you're talking, you know, a couple cents with this and then two or three bucks for one of these. Junk, throw these in the trash. That actually makes me mad that they only put this crap in there. You can literally make up for it with one Swiss Army knife with a saw and be good to go. Next up, you get a little bit of paracord. This isn't much to do with at all. This is this looks like probably 10 feet. Um, if it were me, I'd be putting some smaller diameter bank line in this and maybe 20, try to fit 20 foot of paracord in here, not just 10 feet, because there's not much you can really do with it. Of course, Everyone says you can take the inner strands out and use them and all that stuff, but anyone that says that typically doesn't has never messed with the inner strands of paracord and they don't know how much of a pain in the butt it actually is. Next up, you have a 52 inch by 84 inch survival wrap. This is one of the really, really cheap space blankets. All right, these things for the most part are junk. I always switch these out for something else, um, but is it effective and can you use it yes is it you know the preferred one no um, these things cost three or four bucks by themselves but as far as this as your you know primary shelter this is junk the sol ones work so much better they're so much more durable i actually have a video on them on my channel but the actual cheaper ones that is basically like tin foil these are garbage next you have some world pack water bags um, looks like you get let's see here real fast oh, looks like you get one so they don't put two in here they don't put three in here you get one of these bags to carry your water in so if you poke a hole in it it's in a, you know where you rip it and you can't patch it with duct tape you're screwed um but in a kit this size it's kind of hard to um you know put a full container in here but i feel like most of the time whenever someone's going to be carrying a kit like this they're going to have some type of nalgene or water bottle with them and if that's the case they can just use the water purification tablets the kit and a couple changes that i made to it um do i think personally that it is worth the money um or 111 dollars for this kit absolutely not i think it's got a ton of junk in it um, a lot of stuff you don't need and a lot of things that you can supplement for better items so what i would recommend is taking that 111 dollars and building yourself a kit it's part one of a two-part series so we're actually going to take this kit out and use it this video will give you guys a good look at what is inside of this kit but it did have a couple of decent items in it but for the most part it's junk